everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am beside myself with excitement because there is so much mystery to be had in this haul that we are going to be doing today, and I am here for it. There is not a whole lot left in our lives to be left a surprise, and so when Sensi offers the like mystery bundles during these special flash sales and things, I am here for it. Now, what we are going to unbox here today is not from the Festive Friday sales, I will say. This was actually from the Freaky Friday sales. Um, so the warmer bundles um, and then the bar bundles as well. Plus, I did pick up a few other things that were a part of that sale as well. So we've got three enormous, well, we've got two enormous boxes to dive into and one medium sized box. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, what I will say is we will start off with the things that I know I ordered and then we will go to the mystery items. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. So, okay. So I picked up a few fragrance flowers during that sale. So they did have the fragrance flowers in It's Love. So the It's Love fragrance was actually back from a previous Valentine's Day collection. And I love this scent. It's kind of like it's like a sweet fruit punch kind of scent. Very sweet, very fruity. Um, and I just, I love it. It's actually locked up in my club, the bar is. So when I saw that the fragrance flowers were in the sale, I snatched up three. So I've got three of those there. So I'm super happy about that. Um, I did pick up lots of pods. <laughs> you can kind of see all these pods that are kind of thrown in here. So let's go ahead and we'll just kind of start. One thing I really love about flash sales or sales that are that are like this, um, that are a little bit hectic, um, you tend to kind of forget all that you picked up. Um, not obviously the like mystery bundles, but when it's like these odds and ends of things, I typically will forget all of the things that I picked up. Um, so it's kind of like kind of like Christmas Day. So this is kind of like a surprise. There are some things that like I knew for sure the fragrance flowers. I know about these scent packs that are in here that we're going to uh, check out here together here in just a second. But some of these like odds and ends of things like pods and like sometimes there's odds and ends of like bars and things um, that you can kind of forget about. But OK, oh, I'm so excited. lots of pods lots and lots of pods um what i will say at the festive friday sale this last festive friday sale i know a lot of people were pretty upset with how fast things sold out unfortunately that's just kind of uh, that's just kind of the name of the game with these like flash sales or festive friday sales or freaky friday sales whatever you want to call them um these types of sales things typically go fast especially when they let us know ahead of time what types of things we can expect um, I know for me personally, I was within just this last like week two of the festive Friday sales. Um, I was in the website within five minutes, like through the queue and into the website within five minutes and the room spray bundle had already sold out. Um, I was able to snag a pod bundle, but that was it. Um, I did the pods. I think that was it. The pods and the bars. Yeah. The pods and the bar bundle. Um, because they had like six bars for $20 and there were like um, some retired bars that were available to add to build your six pack, which was super cool. Um, so I did that. I think that was pretty much it. It, it wasn't like a huge sale or anything um, in terms of like amount of products, but things sold out fast, I will just say. Um, okay, so I'm just organizing all my pods here and then we'll talk about all of the scents I got. Okay, so I've got all of my pods out of the box now. There are 17 total pods. Um, I definitely picked up some of my favorites here. So I did pick up five cucumber and cactus water pods. I love this scent. This was actually available um, in a summer collection. Oh, I love this. This was also available in a summer brick as well, which was fantastic. Gave me a chance to lock it into my club. Super happy about that. Oh man, I love this. And the, the pods were really super strong as well. So I'm really, really happy I picked up five pods there. Um, I also picked up four pods in Bora Bora Blossom. So Bora Bora Blossom is actually locked in my club as a bar, um, but I didn't have any pods. So we actually, I don't think we ever, no, we didn't. We never had pods in Bora Bora Blossom because back when Bora Bora Blossom was a regular like seasonal fragrance for us, pods were not a thing. 
they just weren't um we did have a it was available for bring back my bar just as a bar not pods obviously um as a sensi club exclusive to be able to add so that's when i locked it in my club but oh, i love this it's so so nice so i'm really really excited to hang on to these pods for the summertime i'm definitely not going to be reaching for them right now like this is definitely a summertime only fragrance for me uh, that's the beautiful thing about these pods and same with wax and stuff you can store them for a while as long as they're stored in a cool dry place you can keep these for years it's awesome so love it so i've got four pods in bora bora blossom i've got three pods in jeweled pomegranate you guys already know i love this scent in our body line i do enjoy it in like the home fragrance but i really really love it in the body line but oh man it is really really good i love this and this the this scent i will definitely warm now like this is this is a perfect scent for like fall and winter for sure okay i grabbed two uh pods of vanilla mint i don't know i guess i just wanted to give this another try since i'm in my like minty loving era i guess <laughs> i am obsessed with candy cane buttercream i am obsessed with the scent of the month for this month which is meant to be merry so i figured let's give vanilla mint another try so and I, I do, I do enjoy vanilla mint, um, but it's not, I like the bakery element of uh, candy cane buttercream and mint to be merry, but this is really nice. I think this will be a really nice like bathroom pod to put in the wall fan diffusers. Really nice. So vanilla mint, got two pods there. Okay. Let's do some first sniffs here. I have a feeling like I'm probably going to be kicking myself for only picking up three pods of this, but Pi oh my so pie oh my is not a scent i have ever smelled before so let's go ahead and give this a try so i did pick up three pods i pro like i said i probably should have picked up more because it sounds like it's totally going to be up my alley so pie oh my oh yeah that's that's a really good like apple pie scent oh i'm not even gonna lie i may oh I may actually like this better than baked apple pie. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> this is really, really good. Oh, I love this. Oh yeah, I definitely should have picked up more. This is great. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be switching out my pods here momentarily because that needs to be happening like right now. Okay, so those are all the pods that I picked up. And then I did see that there were some scent packs that were available in Oodles of Orange. So if you know, you know, Oodles of Orange is actually my husband's like all time favorite scent. Um, we do have the bars locked up in our club, but we don't have any um, scent packs. So scent packs are great for a, a number of different uses. Uh, if you have any Scentsy Buddies, these are actually made to go into the Scentsy Buddies, but you can actually use these in so many other ways you can hang them in your vehicle you can keep them in your gym bag if you have a locker like at work or school or what, what have you you can hang it in your locker um in your closet if you've got a drawer that you want to kind of freshen up these work great for that there is a little like um satin ribbon like hangy situation that you can like hang this from something so um i did pick up four of the oodles of orange scent packs for my husband because i know he's gonna love this so i have a feeling like this is probably gonna go in his truck like now <laughs> in fact he was just telling me just the other day he's like i need a new car bar or scent circle for my car so how about a scent pack sir <laughs> how about that okay last couple of items here so as i told you jewel pomegranate is like my favorite in the body line so i did pick up a couple of sugar scrubs in jeweled pomegranate so I've got those. I love our sugar scrubs. They're so, so nice. I was never really like a big sugar scrub person, but oh man, when Scentsy brought these out, I just, I love them. Especially if you use the scrub like on your legs um, before you shave, it's really, really nice. Your, your skin is left so soft and moisturized and I just, I love it. So sugar scrubs, so I've got two there. And then these never, ever, ever go to waste in my house. Um, We've got the body cream and jeweled pomegranate as well. It's so funny because we literally have like hand cream and body cream literally scattered all throughout the house. We've got it on Sean's side of the couch and my side of the couch and both sides of the bed. And it's just like, we gotta be moisturized everywhere. I don't know if it's like, we, we came from California. We live in Idaho now, but 
Um, it, the weather is definitely drier here. Um, there, it's dry. It's dry in California, but it's it's dry here. I, I feel like I'm used to. It. I'm not like. I'm not complaining in any kind of way, but I definitely feel like we definitely reach more for our body creams and hand creams more so than we ever did in California for sure. So this is definitely gonna go to some good use here. So there you have it. That is the first box. Now we have the mystery boxes. So let me go ahead and clean up some space and let's get ready for some mystery boxes, shall we? Okay, friends, so I have made some room for large ginormous box number one. And the reason why it's large and ginormous, I went, I opened it just to kind of like save us some time here. And there's lit literally like full size like shipping boxes <laughs> inside of that ginormous box. So that's why. So we're going to dive into these two smaller boxes and then we've got another set of two smaller boxes to dive into. So um, this first one is going to be all the mystery bars. So let's go ahead and check out these mystery bars that we have. Do -do -do. Okay, let's check this out. I'm so excited. I, I love me a good surprise. So, okay, here we have it. There are one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, ten bars in each of these, um, in each of these guys here. So, uh, first bar is Passion Fruit Colada. And this one I don't, oh, this is good. This is really good. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love this. This is, this is great for the summertime. Definitely not one I feel like I'm going to reach for right now, but who knows? I may wind up with a wild hair one day and feel like, you know what? I'm feeling summertime vibes. <laughs> then this would be definitely something I would reach for. Oh, that's really nice. So passion fruit colada. We have Palo Santo. <laughs> Not a huge fan of this one. It kind of smells like black pepper to me, but that's okay. Yep, very peppery, very kind of like dark smoky peppery, but nothing that a little mixing can't, can't fix. So that's totally fine. Next one is Rosewood and Freesia. I think my friend Linda's gonna like this one. <laughs> she might be getting an early Christmas gift <laughs> because that's a little bit too rosy for me. Oh yeah, that's, that's very, very rosy. But if you ever get any of these mystery bar bundles and you wind up not really enjoying one of these scents or a couple of these scents, definitely don't close your mind to mixing them. Um, I've got a friend of mine that loves floral scents, so I know that I can always pass along those bars to her. Um, but if you are not in that type of a situation, um, if I didn't have someone that I know for sure loves florals, that I can't handle, I would totally mix this with like vanilla bean buttercream. I know that sounds strange, but taking like a really powdery floral and adding like a really rich bakery scent actually gives you some really good balance. So that's what I would do with this one if I wasn't gonna pass it along. Citrus Rosemary. This is a great kitchen scent. It's good. Definitely one that I'll enjoy putting in the kitchen and not be like sad to get through it <laughs> i definitely feel like passion fruit colada i'll probably be kind of sad to get through but we'll see okay let's see we've got six more bars to talk about in this first bundle okay we've got poppy fields this is a nice one this is more of a sweet floral a little bit more my a little bit more my speed I really like this one. I actually have a bar of this that I'm hanging on to, so I'm actually happy I've got another bar of this because I can definitely enjoy both bars. In my like open concept, when I um, put, well, and I'm about to put out my Christmas warmers, which means I'm about to go through even more wax because I have more warmers out during the holidays. So, but like just during like the regular time of year, um, I can go through two full bars in my like kitchen and living room area. So, um, one bar in my kitchen and one bar in my like living room area. So I, and since it's all like kind of connected and it's an open concept, um, I like to have those scents match. So I can go through. I, I kind of feel like I want to warm this right now. Oh man, that's really nice. I love it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. We've got Amber Hollow. <laughs> oh, I laugh because the vast majority of people do not enjoy this scent. This was actually a past scent of the month, but I believe that this one was one that I didn't necessarily hate. I didn't love it, 
but I didn't hate it as much as most people do. Again, there's there's never a scent that like, well, there have been a couple scents that like there is no mixing, but I feel like this one would be okay. Yeah, see, I don't mind this one. I actually really don't mind this one. <laughs> I actually wouldn't mind if maybe I get another bar of this. <laughs> oh man, I actually, are you gonna unfriend me? <laughs> I actually enjoy this. Is that weird? I actually really like this. <laughs> okay, um, I'm a weirdo that likes Amber Hollow. I man, that's kind of disappointing because I I thought like it, I I could have remembered, I could have sworn that it was a scent that I just I liked, but it wasn't like one that I disliked. I actually like this. <laughs> If you would like my mailing address to send your amber hollow bars to <laughs> i'm totally kidding okay oh i love this one fresh cut daisies i really like this one this one's really good and this one's crazy strong too oh yes i love this this is nice because it's a springy floral but there's also some green elements that almost gives you some like fresh cut grass kind of vibes but it is more floral but it's really nice. I love this. Oh, I'm excited. This will be definitely one that I'm gonna reach for on like one of those like first like springy days that it just starts to warm up and you open up the windows to like get some fresh air in the house. This is gonna be the scent that I warm on that day. I better put it somewhere that I remember on that day <laughs> because that's what I'm gonna reach for. Okay, next one is Sand Swept. And this is this is just a really great beachy scent. Um, this is a great bathroom one. It's not crazy strong, so I'll just enjoy this in the bathroom, but it's good. Okay, uh, evergreen and grapefruit. I know I like this one. Ah, yes, and this is a good holiday scent. So I'm, I'm super happy with this one. That'll be good. Uh, next one is a wink and a smile, and I know I love this one. This is a really great fruity scent. Ah, yes. I think I might actually have this one in my club. It's good. This one's really nice. Um, it's It's got kind of a melon base and it's got like kind of citrus as well in here. Totally springy. I actually really like this variety because you really are hitting all different kinds of scent preferences. You've got kind of Christmas tree holiday. You definitely have some springy scents for sure. You've got some florals, you've got some fall scents. Um, I think this is actually a really good variety, but wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, so now we have another mystery bar bundle here. So let's just get these, oh boy. <laughs> okay, here's a couple. I think this is good though, because like there's probably more than likely going to be a bar or two that you don't care for, but for every bar that you don't care for, you'll, you're probably gonna have one or two or three or four or eight, hopefully, that you really enjoy. So um, first one we're gonna talk about on this bundle is grapefruit and grenadine, and I know I really like this one. Uh, this would be, uh, yeah, this is another like, a long, ooh, I wonder even. This sounds like a crazy mix, but it just got me thinking fresh cut daisies and grapefruit and grenadine. That would be really nice in like alternating warmers. Wow, what's happening? I kind of feel like I'm craving spring now. What is happening to me? <laughs> these scents are making me crave spring. Ooh, I'm gonna put these together. So that way on that like first springy day that starts to warm up and we open the windows, Doing this in alternating warmers is gonna be so fresh and nice. Oh yeah, those need to go together. Um, okay, I'm, I'm a winter girl. I, I love fall and winter. Those, are, those seasons are my jam. Those scents are my jam. So I'm not wishing time away, but that combination is gonna be happening in the spring. Okay, Jewel Pomegranate. I know I love this one. I absolutely love it in the body line. I enjoy it in the home fragrance, so I'll definitely enjoy this one. It's just so nice. It's kind of like, a very slightly spiced pomegranate scent. Really, really good. Love that. Okay, and we have Zeppelin. Zeppelin, I think, was a kind of more masculine kind of scent. Um, a little bit. It's kind of fresh, clean, a little bit masculine. But that's nice. I think that'll be a nice kind of bedroom, bathroom scent. Pacific Daydream. I really like this one. This one was actually 
like originally a scent of the month and I did really enjoy it then. Yeah, that's nice. It's just, it's fresh, clean, kind of aquatic. So really good. Okay, uh, next one is My Hero. I think this one was another like kind of masculine scent. Um, but yeah, it is masculine, but I know Sean will like this. They'll probably warm it in his office. So My Hero, that one's great. Fairy Tale Pumpkin. This one was not one that I necessarily super loved, but I, now this one I do remember. I didn't, I didn't hate it, but I also didn't love it either. Um, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> I, I don't hate it. Um, I just, I don't, I don't love it. This is pumpkin with like some sweet black licorice. That black licorice definitely comes through. So I will probably warm it like maybe in here. Um, this, and luckily this one's really strong. So like it's gonna throw like way down the hall and Sean's gonna hate it, but it is what it is. <gasps> Ooh, we have marshmallow mint cocoa. Oh yes, this one's a really good one. Um, oh, yeah, that's nice. I really like this one. This one is one that I wouldn't like, I'm gonna enjoy it while I have it, but I'm not gonna necessarily feel like, oh man, I wish I had this in my club. Like that's not gonna be the scent, but um, but yeah, it's nice. I'll enjoy it for sure. Next one is Feeling Pine. And of course, this is like the perfect time of year for that. <sighs> yeah, that's that's another really good like Christmassy one. Uh, breakfast in Bed. Love Breakfast in Bed. This is an absolutely fabulous one. This is warm and bakery pumpkin oh it's really really nice and then it's perfect perfect companion i'm really glad that they put these two together almond croissant this is actually a really great combination together these two together um whether you're mixing in the same warmer or in alternating these complement each other really really well love almond croissant so dang good ah so good so those are the two mystery bar bundles that we have here. And now let's check out what mystery warmers we have. Okay, I am super intrigued because you may or may not remember, I didn't necessarily love the warmers that I got last time um, for the mystery warmers, but that's just that's just the, the risk that you take with any mystery anything, right? Because you just, you don't get a chance to try it out or, or, or pick out what it is that you're getting. It's, it's a mystery, but that's okay. Oh yes. So we have the Catching Snowflakes Mini Warmer. So this bundle was two full-size warmers and one mini warmer. So we have the Catching Snowflakes Mini Warmer. So I really enjoy this one. That's good. That's a good, a good choice there. We also have the Snow Much Love Warmer, which is a little family of snowmen there. Super cute. And then we also have drum roll please santa slumber so i'm really glad that they made the mystery warmers um like seasonally appropriate so that's cool um i'm, I'm not gonna lie i would have like <sighs> i am starting to see some people show their mystery warmers and some people are getting some really cool really like older warmers and i would love some really old warmers like old like old like before my time like pre 2014 <laughs> like that would be super awesome but it's okay I'm, I'm actually really happy with these um let me go ahead and unbox let me unbox these for you so you can check these out here the uh, this mini warmer it's a metal mini warmer and it has snowflakes on it so when it's all lit up it will cast the pattern of snowflakes on the wall which is really pretty Got the catching snowflakes mini let's check out the snow much love and the santa slumber next okay so let's do santa slumber now this one's really i really like this one i actually had it and then um i had a friend that was looking for this one so i'm actually really glad that i have this one back now um this is it's very kind of whimsical holiday and it is an element warmer so cool so you have this is like the base of the warmer itself so it's in the shape of a moon once you have his little lid on 
And then you just put the wax right in here. And then once it's on, there's this little red indicator light right back here that will illuminate when it's on. Let me see how many watts are you? How many watts? This one's eight watts, so that's fine. It's not a crazy big warmer, so that's just fine. And then here is the lid. And the lid on this guy is perfect. What I really like that Sensi is doing is any of these warmers that have lids, um, they are, Sensi is opening up the back rather than just having the holes cut out on the, on the top, they actually cut out the back so that way the, um, the fragrance can still throw just fine. So that's nice. So once it's all put together here, it's in the shape of a moon. You have Santa Slumber. Okay, so now let's check out Snow Much Love. Okay, now we have Snow Much Love up next. So let's check out how cute this is. I'm definitely much happier with, <laughs> with these uh, warmers than the last warmers I wound up with. So. The other ones were fine. I really didn't like the basketball warmer, but that was fine. I was able to find someone um, who was looking for that, so that worked. Um, but the other ones, I think I already had both of them. So it like, I was like, well, I've got duplicates, but that's okay. Again, that's just the chance to take. So this is another element warmer here. And this one, how many watts are you? You are also eight watts and you have, this is the base here. So it's the body of the snowman family. And you have the lid. So cute. So, so cute. This will go great with my swirling snowman warmer, which I did immediately put up, by the way. And Sean is giving me a hard time. He's like, oh my gosh, it's so magical. <laughs> like, just like teasing me because I'm obsessed with it. And I'm just like, you shut your mouth because it is actually magical. I love it. So here is Snow Much Love Warmer. Super cute. Like I said, I'm really glad that they went with like, um, like seasonally appropriate warmers. That makes it even more exciting. So, okay, I'm gonna clean this mess up and we've got a couple more boxes to, to dive into for the finale of this mystery haul. Okay, so I have cleared off some more space and I did lie, it's just one more box to dive into. So we've got one more mystery box of another set of mystery warmers. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Okay, oh, let's see. And they did say that they were going to try, if you ordered multiple mystery bundles, um, they were gonna try to make sure that the warmers were different, but they couldn't, like, they couldn't make any promises, so. There's hoping. <laughs> oh, I do see. I do see an older box. We have Weave Green. So the Weave Green Mini Warmer. So let's check this out. I don't know if I remember what this one looks like. Um, when I was first a consultant, our boxes did look like this. Um, but I don't really remember what this one looks like. Let's see. Okay, this was like when I first joined. You know what? I'm actually, I'm actually really excited about this. It's very simple, and I think that's what, I think that's what I love. Like I love our warmers now. The detail, they are so, so beautiful. They truly are works of art, and they really do add to your home decor as a whole. But there is something that I do really like about the simplistic design of like the really early Scentsy warmers. And for me, it's more of a like collector's type thing. Um, but yeah, so this is the green weave. So this is definitely a much, much earlier design, um, but I really like it. I like this one a lot. So it has um, these little box cutouts for the whole cutouts that will um, shine, will allow some of that light to shine through. Um, and then it has just this kind of like box weave pattern in this kind of pretty like sage green color. I like this, I do, I really like this. Okay, I'm super happy with this one. So far so good. We don't have any other retro, I shouldn't say retro, but 
the other boxes are current style <laughs> i should say okay let's check out what the other warmers are so we've got two more full size warmers to check out so let's check this out here so let's see here <laughs> so we've got another snow much love full size warmer. So no need to unbox this one because we literally just did it together. So same snowman family, different box. <laughs> so we've got that one. And then we also have the retro, I'm, I'm happy with this one too, the retro blue truck. So we actually already have the white truck. You may actually see it behind me right here with the pumpkin lid there. So we've got the retro blue truck now and Sean actually has the black truck. So this will actually work perfectly with our little collection here. So let me go ahead and show you what this one looks like. At first, I thought maybe it was the red one, and I was kind of when I just first saw just the just the picture itself on the box, I was like, oh, "Is that the red one?" <laughs> I'm not being picky. I'm happy with the blue one, but the red one would have been pretty cool. That's okay. All right, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so we have the retro. This one was actually a warmer of the month as well. This was actually. The very, was this the very first one? I think this was the very first retro truck warmer that we had and it came with the pumpkin lid. Um, I think it was like the warmer of the month for September, I wanna say. Um, so yeah, same exact warmer, but just a blue truck. So again, the headlights will light up, the tail lights will light up. It is an element warmer, so you'll just stick your wax in the bed of the truck there. This is also an eight watt warmer, right? eight watts so i'm actually really happy with this because we already have the white retro truck and sean has the black retro truck so this will just totally go in with the fleet of retro trucks that we have <laughs> so i am okay with this absolutely i'm super happy with with this um yes we have a duplicate but that's okay that is just one of the chances that you take on if you're going to get duplicates or if you're going to like or not like some certain things with some mystery bundles so I would say I'm definitely pleased with everything. So there you have it. That is this mystery haul for you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the not notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Sensi. Have an amazing day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, friends.